There are many different kinds of tests that can be used to measure the performance and scalability of a web application. The first is simply the performance test, which is used to determine or validate the speed of the application. Next is the load test, which is similar to a number of performance tests being done at the same time by a number of simulated users. Typically this is done in order to determine the level of workload that an application can sustain while still offering acceptable performance. The third type of test is the stress test. The stress test is a particular kind of load test, but the goal of this test is not simply to determine what level of load the application can sustain acceptably, but rather to determine what the application will do when it's pushed beyond its normal or peak load conditions. This is used to determine, for instance, what kind of failure the system will undergo when it's pushed beyond the levels that it can support. A few other special cases of these performance and load tests include the smoke test. You perform a smoke test when you run an initial performance test to see if the application can perform operations under normal load, or even just to see if a single user is able to achieve the performance goals of the application. Next is a capacity test. The capacity test is a type of load test that's used to determine a server's failure point. This is going to provide information on the current system architecture and what its capacity is. And then the third type of test is called an endurance test. This is a special type of load test where rather than running a high load for a short period of time, an application is hit with a particular level of load over a very extended period of time, often days, in order to see how the application will perform during production. 